All right, welcome back and to the review of this, this is for the review of lesson uh, 1.4, the end of chapter one last week that we went over. Uh, you should have some feedback in your student email, but just in case your model did not look like this, I wanna show you what a good example of an exemplar response would be. Um, for the first, there's two parts to that exit ticket that you had to nail. The first part, you had to show me in a model that you knew that a stable population over time should have equal numbers of births and deaths. That would have been represented by, it doesn't matter what number of Bs or Xs you put here, it just mattered that the number of Bs equaled the number of Xs that you use. So you see in this example that we use two births and two deaths, a stable population has about the same number of each over time. Uh, increasing, Again, didn't matter what your numbers were, but you just needed to show me that there were more Bs than Xs in the increasing model. So some of you might have just put like one X in there and that didn't really show me that you knew that an increasing population had more births than deaths. So you can see two examples here on the um, right hand side over here. You have two Bs and one X on the left hand side. You have three Bs, two Xs. Either way, there's more births than deaths, and that would show that the population is increasing. The second part of that assignment, you had to show me what was the relationship between the number of births and deaths in a, a population. Um, sorry, how does the relationship between the number of births and deaths in a population cause the population to increase? And I'll read you two exemplar responses. If yours was something similar along these lines, you're good. You could probably honestly just copy and paste it uh, into the section, the answer for the question in this section. If not, you might want to take some notes. Uh, one example to answer that question would be increasing or decreasing the amount of births and deaths can cause a stable population to increase over time. The model shows that the moon jelly population could increase if the number of deaths decreased or there were more births than deaths. In conclusion, for a population to increase over time, there must be more births than deaths occurring in a population. Okay, so that's one example. Another example of a good response would be down here, increasing or decreasing the amount of births and deaths can cause a stable population to increase over time. The model shows that the moon jelly population could increase if the number of births increased so there were more births than deaths. In, in conclusion, for a population to increase over time, there must be more births and deaths occurring in a population. Now that you've seen some exemplar responses, go back and fix your answers in section three. Good luck.